In this video, you'll learn how to prepare shared folders for files and how to create a new cluster with a local database. Before you begin installing ClickSense, make sure that you have the system requirements in place. Check the documentation on the Click Help site to verify system requirements and limitations. First, you have to create a folder for all file content to be shared. You will need to share this folder with specific users. To set up a shared folder, right-click on the folder and select Share with Specific People. Select the user to whom you want to grant access to the shared folder. The file share should now be accessible from all machines. Next, run the setup file you downloaded and follow the installation steps. Before you install ClickSense, you will need to log into a server with administrator rights. The account cannot have a blank password, and make sure that user account control is disabled. On the first screen, select Shared Persistence and accept the license agreement. Select Create a Cluster and then select Install a Local Database. You can change the database port and the name of the database user that will be created in the local database. Then you must define a password. Select Configure Database Service Listener. If you do not configure the database service listener during the installation, you can perform the configuration manually after the installation is complete. However, the shared persistence deployment will not work until the database service listener is configured. In the Listen Address field, enter the addresses to which the database service should listen. You can supply a comma-separated list of IPv4 or IPv6 addresses. In this case, we insert the value 0.0.0.0, .0 for all IPv4 addresses. In the IP Range field, add a subnet specification that covers the IP addresses of all nodes in your site. To allow all servers to access the repository database, use 0.0.0.0 forward slash 0. Then, select where to store data and resources that should be accessible from all nodes in the cluster in shared persistent storage. In this case, you can paste the path for the shared folder that you created. Subfolders for apps, archived logs, custom data, and static content will be created automatically. Define the ClickSense installation location or leave it to be installed at the predefined location. Define a password for the repository database superuser. Enter the username and password for the dedicated service account to run the ClickSense services. Accept the default host name. Select Install to launch the ClickSense installation. You have now successfully installed a ClickSense node with a local database and created a new cluster. After the installation, you need to perform the initial setup. You can watch this video for a step-by-step -step guide on how to activate the license in the Click Management Console and how to allocate user access to yourself to start using ClickSense. If you already know how to activate your ClickSense license, you can watch this video tutorial that shows you how to join an existing cluster. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.